Hey there guys, Frank Amatic here with someone. It's me. Yeah, that person. And we are going to be playing Mata Hari, an adventure game on the PC. And I'm trying something a little new, so if everything works out, we will have a much higher quality looking video than we have in the past. So, also, Sess is playing the first chunk of this game, as I have played through that to make sure that the game would be viable. So, here we go. March the 14th, 1963. Interview number five for the book Mata Hari, Dancer, Courtesan, Spy. Very well, madame. We're ready to begin. Could you start by introducing yourself? Oh, yes. I am Elspeth Schragmuller. I was a colleague of Margaret de Zella MacLeod, known to the world as Mata Hari. That was a long time ago. Here is a picture of her from the summer of 1906. Or was it seven? Oh, I was well aware of her beauty. I envied her. I admired her. She came to Paris in 1905, destitute but determined. When she started dancing, fame was only a dream. Mesdames et messieurs, attention s'il vous plaît. Ce soir, quelque chose de nouveau. Ce soir, la danseuse divine de l'Est mystique, Mata Hari. The night I danced in public for the first time, I was nervous, but no matter, the audience went wild. Now I've been invited to celebrate with the rich and famous. Not bad for a poor woman who can't pay her bills. If my luck holds, I'll meet someone here who can advance my career. Interesting note. This game is, as far as I can tell, very loosely based on a person that really existed in their story. And the game, in more technical terms, is driven entirely by the mouse. I guess I gotta talk to this guy. Le Bal des Artistes. Oui, madame. You have an invitation? Of course. The ball is practically in my honor. No, wait. I must have left it somewhere. I'm sorry. You must present an invitation. That red thing shows that you have a new objective, essentially, that you can talk to people about. Excuse me, I'm one of the guests. Without an invitation, how can I be sure? And it's if it's not valid, it's it won't pop up. Invitation, impossible. <laughs> how dare you stand in the way of un artiste at her own party? So you claim. Please, please. No, no. <laughs> Please. No, no. All right. <laughs> Can you believe it? I've been turned away. No. Ridiculous. The ball never has enough beautiful women. What's the problem? Everything in this game works by essentially dragging things to your target. I just click on it. Don't actually drag it. <laughs> So you lied to me. Yes. I'm hoping to meet an important impresario here tonight, and my invitation is back in my dressing room. Well then, allow me to vouch for you. My good man, don't you know who this is? Matahari. Her dancing is a sensation. Soon she'll be the talk of Paris. If anyone deserves to attend the artist's ball, it's her. Uh, it's a regular, but all right, uh, she can be your guest. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Thanks for the lifeline. May I ask who threw it? Just an admirer. You'll have many more. Congratulations, you solved your first puzzle. 
Oh man. The night is young. I'm not leaving without a dance manager. This first air this first chapter actually is basically an extended tutorial. <laughs> A moment, please. Thanks again for rescuing me tonight. Obviously, you know who I am, but I don't have any idea. Pardon me. I am Oscar Samsony, a businessman. Practical, respectable, hard-headed. And yet, utterly charmed by Paris's latest sensation. You saw my show? Oh my, yes. I, I don't know much about the Mystic East, but... The language you're using to express it is universal. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that creepy comment. Hello again. Hello. This is your moment. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you uh, find yourself completely stuck. A moment, please. Why, hello. What a party. Lots of interesting people here, don't you think? I hope so. Ah, make the rounds. Work the room. You'll meet them all. Hello again. Oh, hello. Enjoying the party? Of course. Très bien. For anyone who might be wondering, I've turned on the uh, dialogue bubbles for two purposes. One, due to the way that we have to record, we can barely hear the game. And two, there is a lot of fairly heavy accents throughout, and if anyone has any trouble with uh, understanding those, that should help. He means me. Do you have problems with uh, French accents? No, I moment, just please. have trouble understanding Good evening. anything, you must be including non-accented words. Yes, that's me. You know my work. I was told you'd be here. You look lost and alone. I am. I'm a fish out of water with these fancy folks. I don't know how to talk to them. Oh, my dear. Just chatter on about the city, or the latest fashions, or the guests, or even the weather. People are all the same. You'll break the ice with ease. Congratulations, you've earned some conversation topics. Hmm. Small talk. If that's all it takes, I've got a chance. The most important stage manager in Paris is supposed to be here tonight. I'm hoping to meet him. You mean Gabriel Astruc? He's right over there. Now's your chance. I just had a thought. Yes? Getting anywhere? Who knows? <laughs> yeah, some of these uh, generic conversations are kind of... Nice party, don't you think? All of Paris seems to be here. <laughs> you don't need small talk for me. I can't book dance dates, I'm afraid. Sorry to bother you again. Hello. This is your moment. I hope you enjoy it. Do you think it will rain? Sooner or later, I'm sure it will. This isn't the Sahara after all. It rains in the desert too, buddy. <laughs> all the people here are so a la mode. It makes me feel ordinary. Yet I saw you dance, so I know you're unique. Don't be intimidated by money and position. You're right. I should just follow my instincts and be brazen. That's the spirit. Until we meet again. Everyone here has one topic that seems to make all the other topics go away. I'm not sure why. <laughs> hello again. Oh, hello. Enjoying the party? Of course. Très bien. Something about this guy's face strikes me as wrong. Everyone here is so fashionable. I feel out of place. Nonsense, madame. You light up the ball. My eyes are up here, buddy. 
I'm just beginning to understand that Paris is a big city. The possibilities dazzle me. May we, life at its best. Civilized, dynamic, leading the world into the new century. I don't think we've met. I'm Matahari. I'm new here. But of course, I've heard rumors. Something daring, a dance, ne sais pas. Très chic, très à la mode. In the style. <laughs> Now some of these people aren't actually existent. Sir? Well, hello. Rupert Zollinger at your service. I'm Mata Hari. The dancer, yes? Perhaps you saw my performance this evening. Perhaps, although I'd never admit it. Quite daring. Yes, waving your hands around in the air while you bend slightly backwards. The real Matahari was fairly... What's the word? Scandalous back in the early 1900s for her dance routines? Her dances were risque. Yeah. Nice weather for the ball. Yes, if it were bad, I would have a perfectly good excuse to stay at home. Sounds like somebody doesn't want to be here. Yeah, dang. <laughs> Everyone here is so stylish, so de jour. Aren't you impressed? Oh, very. That's the only reason I'm here. My companion, Mademoiselle Roy, insists on showing off her latest gown. Ah, that's why I doesn't want to be here. Hello again. Ah, it's our dancer. Well, I must be off. <laughs> Awkward conversation. Something to drink, madame. Maybe later. With all these fancy guests to impress, I need to stay alert. I'm sure he has grandine. Something to drink, madame. Maybe later. Okay, okay. Maybe, but uh, you can't have it right now. <laughs> Straight up grandine would be gross anyway. Oh, I forgot about a feature. Oh, Good wait. Good afternoon. Oh. oh, you're that dancer. I want you to know that all of Paris is shocked by your dancing, including my husband. Oh, dear. He's a politician. He has to be shocked. I'm a woman, and I think you are very brave. Why, thank you. Paris is bigger than my husband. The city is ready for you, even if he isn't. Next time you're in a spot where you uh, have a character on screen whose name you already know, hold the mouse over them for a couple of seconds and it will actually give you a little description of them. Nice evening. Isn't it though? You look a bit chilled. Are you alright? Hmm, how kind of you to ask. But I'm quite comfortable. And you? Well enough for a dancer with no prospects and no manager. Oh, my poor dear. You seem kind-hearted, and that is rare. If there's some way I can assist, I certainly will. Thank you. Boo-hoo. You asked me about the weather, so you seem kind... Kind... Kind-hearted. Madame, I'm Mata Hari. The dancer? Daniel Rue, pleased to meet you. I guess that would make her the woman Rupert was talking Paris about. This is splendid tonight, don't you think? As a newcomer, I'm enchanted by the glitter. Paris is Paris? I'm not really sure why she wanted to show this off. It isn't that great. Look at these people. All of Paris society seems to be here. I couldn't name one. Except you, maybe. And that's only your stage name. I do like the big floppy hat, though. Nice weather for the occasion. Unless it rains, and then my hair will be a mess. <sighs> You're wearing a hat. Everyone is so chic here. As a woman of fashion, don't you find it unsettling? I don't give it a thought. 
Herr Zollinger is a generous benefactor. Bye for now. That was a uh, mentally draining conversation. You have to keep the mouse on them, so I move it up to her face. There you go. Her face. <laughs> I assume these are supposed to be Mana Harry's like thoughts on the people, but uh, she's kind of harsh. They have to actually have names, or else it doesn't work. <laughs> and some people don't get them, apparently. Jeez, descriptions. Spoilers much? I've talked to the man you very carefully avoided this whole time. Bonjour. <clears throat> yes? Monsieur Astruc, I believe. Sorry, can't talk. Done too much of that already tonight. Yeah, <clears throat> need something to ease the throat. Would you be good enough? I can't walk five feet to my right. Ah, let me see what I can do. Well, you are of a lower class and a woman. Would you go get me a drink? from the bar that's literally within sight of me right now. Something to drink, madame. Perhaps. Yes, please. Here you are. Enjoy the party. I did not actually go into your inventory. That tricked me the first time, too. <laughs> Champagne. France's best medicine. Ah, much better. My voice returns. And who is Astruc's savior? No, wait. I've seen your pretty face somewhere. The rest of you as well, I think. <laughs> I was hoping you might help me with my dance career. Dance? I'm sorry, but I never discuss business or anything else without an introduction. But... How do I know you're a dancer? You could be a woman of the streets. Come back with an introduction, then we'll talk. I saw your show, but I can't believe that you're actually her. You could just be a lookalike. Also, it might just be me, but a lot of people in this game kind of creep me out. Yeah. Hello again. Hmm. hmm. How's your campaign coming? It's hard to tell. Astruc is aloof. Could you perhaps introduce me to Monsieur Astruc? I'm sorry, but I've never met the man. I'd like to help, but I can't. <laughs> I've never met that man five feet away from us. Hey, would you? <laughs> You, random lady, can you introduce me to this man? Excuse me. Oh, you're that dancer. I want you to know that all I don't know why it acts like voice. you didn't talk well, to her at all previously. But it does that almost every time you talk to her. Gabriella Struck is the key to my future, and I need an introduction. Do you know him? Slightly. But I think you need a professional to attract his attention. I'm just a politician's wife. Hello again. Oh, hello. Enjoying the party? Of course. Très bien. 
I'm trying to persuade Monsieur Astruc to manage my career, and he insists on an introduction. I'm wondering if you would be so kind. Let's help each other. I'm a journalist. Grant me a brief interview and I'll introduce you to that stuffy old Astruc. What do you say? Why not? Well, <laughs> whatever. First, your name. May I ask, uh, what does it mean? Eye of the Dawn. A name as beautiful as yourself. And you are Dutch, yes? Dutch, that's right. From the East Indies. Married? Once, years ago. No longer. Ah, an independent woman. Perhaps that explains why your art is so, uh, revealing. I celebrate our humanity in all its glory. Patterns of movement to intrigue our minds and our bodies. I must say, people are starting to talk. And not ordinary people who are easily excited. And you're a sensation among the sensational people here tonight. I'm a little embarrassed to think so. Don't be. Astrog hardly deserves such good luck. Tell him the Morning Herald sends regards. I didn't write any of that down. I've been drinking pretty heavily, but I'm pretty sure I can write an article on that. Also, before we continue, we're about at 20 minutes in, so let's uh, break this and start it up again. One moment.